Hello, welcome back. Last time we got a grappling hook and found some exciting places to use it. This is one. There'll be another here once we get to it, but... Mud puzzle first. Don't kill mud babies. Somehow... Something something. So that looks like the first action to do... Oh, I forgot to do one of... Oops. One of these, just in case. See, okay, so tra uh, is this the only trapdoor in the room? No. Let's hit the vision token. Oh, there's the other one. Ah, that helps. Oh boy. So this is basically like a Tarmaze orb puzzle sort of thing. <laughs> so what does each orb do? Various things. Okay, so. Um actually hang on, before I do that, places we can go from here. So I'm forced to go in here. That's the only only action available to take first. Um, this orb would be accessible somehow. Closes those, opens these. So go in, hit the orb, go through there, use this. Well, that opens those. So to have the most doors open, I would do this one first and then this one. Uh, how does this open? Hmm, when all the tar's gone, huh? So, wait, that's not pa- oh, that is possible. Hmm. Oh, there's another trapdoor here. Okay, that's good to know. So... How's this gonna work? Alright, so I definitely have to go across this trapdoor now, because that force arrow is just a trap, it won't uh, won't let me ever drop that. Although, if I drop all the trapdoors, then this closes, right? I just want to try and make sure I know what I'm... Uh, okay, I can't even do that. Go that way, we're stuck, so we have to go over the trapdoor to the north. Yeah. That's forced. Uh, that didn't get me anywhere. Wait, is there something I can do now? Hmm. I guess there's this option. Except, again, that, uh, hmm. If you, yeah, cut as much as possible before stepping on the trap door. That... I don't seem to help. I think that'll actually work, because I can get through yes. here. Yes, that lets us do that. Yeah. Well, ah, now we can reach that or uh, well, not exactly. Yeah, if you yep. do that, you can hit the orb. Okay, um... Okay, this seems to make sense. Uh, so I do want to cut all the mud if I can. There's going to be a row of mud babies. Okay, I see how I'm going to do this, I think. So just be very careful where I uh, let a mud baby actually appear. I uh, might not have wanted to make that cut, but I guess we'll see. Hmm. Hope I don't have to go through that door. Do. Oh, we can grapple over the water, remember? Oh, right. Okay. Alright, now we're getting somewhere. So that's done that. Oh. The only thing that opens this is... Oh, what? And it also closes the attack gem, so we want to avoid dropping all the trapdoors, if possible. Uh, okay. Uh, Could you cut... Oh, no, that wouldn't help. I uh, can't get very far with that. Okay, so I think, I think there was a very specific cut I needed to not make here, although... 
Uh, that doesn't make sense. Could I have avoided this? I don't think so. So something in this area I think needs to be done differently. If I could make a mud baby appear here instead of there... Mm, I don't know. The, what does the middle orb do? Open those, close those. Ah, so we can't we can't get both doors open without hitting the other orb. Yeah. Uh, now, what if I were to avoid cutting that for now? That happens, which is kind of okay. Okay, I managed to do that. That was going to be better for some reason, but I'm not sure what that reason was. Oh, right, because now I can get in here and reach this corner. Mm -hmm. I think this will work. Except I have to drop... Oh, no, I don't. Yeah, there we go. Uh, uh, that's fine. Uh, that's still fine. I think. Okay. Okay, so that opens those, uh, first. Do I have the option of killing all these mud babies? How far will that briar go? It erases that orb so I can only kill one. We can drop the trapdoor later, so... Enough. Uh... If we can... Oh no, dropping the trapdoor closes the uh, that... Yeah, box. that's the problem. Hmm. So yeah, unless I'm missing something, looks like I can only get away with killing one mud baby here. Because that closes, can't get back to this orb to reopen that, and that would lock me in anyway. What about if we hit the top orb first? Uh, still closes that. Alright, one mud baby. <laughs> Oops. Okay, cool. Uh -huh. Inventory space. I thought it might come here. Aha, this place. I remember this. Barely. Inventor's Log. Following earlier successes with using Ormites to convert metal into usable forms, such as currency, huh. I've succeeded in using Ormites to convert yellow keys to green keys. The machine here is infinitely reusable, but has an undesirable exchange rate. Okay. Four to one. Oh, wow. That's, yeah, that's very undesirable. <laughs> ah, four to one. I see. Especially when we have... Plenty enough um, green keys to be getting on with. Yeah. Well, it's health at least. Mm. Uh, okay, so even with flippers, this doesn't particularly lead anywhere. Okay. Well, that's a mystery solved. Uh, this is yellow. Oh, yeah. If we wanted to spend grackles on a tiny bit of health. Yellow for health. Yellow for terrible health. Uh, those could be killed now. If it's worth bothering. Eh. Not till we really need grackles. <laughs> Alright, so I guess these are all totally inaccessible, so I might as well just mark this off. Yes. Okay. So I think it's time to try the grappling hook in the intended spot. So with that um, attack that we got, that should mean that goblins now only... Um, mm, yeah. 159 for the next one. <laughs> that could happen someday with a better weapon, I guess. But yeah, so goblins only 90 now. That's better. Uh, there's this guy. He's This is profitable now. Yeah. So worth remembering. 
health isn't in the worst shape, but could be better. Okay, cool. Uh, now wait a minute. Okay, right, that opens that. Cool. Have I been getting into fights with the grappling hook equipped? No, except the mud baby, which was free anyway. That's right. Yeah, I re-equipped for the for the mad eyes. Okay, just wanted to make sure. That's a that's a thing to keep an eye on. Like right here, if we need to fight these. Um. Yeah, let's let's do it so I don't so I can't forget. Security eye. Oh, uh, those are not the same as card reader eyes. Okay, so they're 255. Okay. Open, open. Green key. Should we do a quick save and explore? Yes. Well, well Although, you don't need to do a quick save when there's an auto save point, right? Oh, no, uh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> This is for a power gem. Um, it's also a slight increase in health. Oh yeah. Uh, cost some keys. Well, we, we could take the green door path to get the attack and leave the yellow door path. That's true. Oh, I see that health, right? Mm-hmm. Just once, I'd like to be able to sneak in, and I'd get in, and I would dic and I would dictate the timing of stuff. But it looks like this place is going to be nice and ready for me as well. Did I read that right? I would dictate the timing of stuff. I don't understand that line. Hmm. Oh, whoa, huh? Actual evil eyes that move and stuff. Alright, well, there's no avoiding that, right? If I just wait... Yeah, okay, that happens. Huh. Oh, uh, what's this about? Could I use it for... Hmm. Good, good Aha! The problem is he's gonna hit me as I go by... Yes. <laughs> and he's hitting three times anyway, so no point in that, I guess. Can't grapple to a space with a monster on it, of course, so that's that's a dead end there. Hm. Uh, also, I don't have a grappling hook. <laughs> but if I had one, I could use it there. Uh... I have a silly idea, and it doesn't work because I'm forced to trap that thing. I was wondering if I could, like, lure it down here, then re-enter at a different point and get around it. Mm -hmm. Health is awfully low. There's some right there. That's true. This led to a green key. Okay. We can leave that for later. Any mm -hmm. last time. You're here as expected. So I assume you're going to be uncooperative, refuse to move from the pressure plate, and be completely unhelpful as to why a pie tin is worth more than your life? Yeah, pretty much. Also, you killed my friend. Therefore, I have both loyal and personal reasons to kill you. Well, Greb, I'm going to have to kill you too. You might be more polite and direct than your predecessor, but that won't help you any. Well, that's obvious. That's what my sword and armor are for. Begin when you're ready. <laughs> Alright, so you're Pie Fort Scout B. We could take him now. Uh, that's not getting any cheaper anytime soon. Okay. Ah! 
Ah, this explains it all. It's unfortunate. You will probably win in the end, but you will face great hardship. Thanks a bunch. Anything more important? Please let me die in peace. Defeated second scout, 1208. No, he's still alive. Hmm. But he at least thinks he's dying. Whoa. Oh. Wait, what? Ha! You fool! Hmm. And now to make my escape. Ah. <laughs> Oh, uh, oh. <laughs> Alright, so Pyfort Scout B is a clever one. I wonder if he's chaseable somehow. Hmm, probably not. He wouldn't have gone that way. Yeah, no, he's just gone. Why is the room still that? Hmm, good question. Well, he turned white. <laughs> I guess the scripting must have confused it. The most aggravating part is that I stabbed him until I thought he was dead. And then he took advantage of the fact that I didn't prioritize him. For now, I will gather my resolve and let my sword speak my mind. I will think of something later. Base. Hydroponic garden. Gate. Alright, so that leads around to here. And no way in there. Got it. So, did we actually make any decisions that were non optimal there? Um, no. no, except that um, we probably want to grab that um, green door trade for, before moving on. Right. Okay. There was less uh, exploratory stuff to do than I expected. All right, so Tar Baby's going to be the not the cheaper one, right? Yep. A uh, simple sentry. I guess we fought one of those on. F was that this level? Much earlier, I think. Oh I wow! Think. Yeah, this is still fourth level, or I guess this is yeah, this is still <laughs> fourth level. <laughs> Hold is kind of enormous. Alright, so one green key for a power gem. Sounds okay. And it's nice that we have a stockpile of keys for trades like that, where you have to spend a bunch to get some back. Um, this is less worthwhile. But yes. I guess if we really need health. Well, if we need health, then we can take two trades that add up to more than that, mm -hmm. so... No need to get that one for until we run out of other options. Yeah. The room down this passageway is a hidden room. Okay. So trapdoor puzzle. Another grappling hook one. Uh, interestingly, there's an inventory square here, but I don't see. Oh, right, grappling hook. That's what that's for. Not for disarming. Okay, I see how it is. Oh, boy. This is going to be a thing. Uh, uh, I cannot drop this because that's my only way out, right? Um, right. Now, the problem I see here is, well, obviously that. Could I go across this first and come back somehow? Not really. Uh, hmm. hmm. Going from here to here, does that ever make sense? Maybe. Yeah, almost. Yes, yes, it does. Go northwest now, then northeast. Uh, yeah, there we go. Okay. Northwest again to get rid of those, and we have a way back. Cool. 
Um, maybe undo twice, so from the Aragon southeast. Uh huh. Okay, I like this. Um, oh, interesting. So that actually applies. That makes sense. Uh, okay, so here, here? I don't know about that, but maybe. Then mm. west. Yeah, I think there's nothing we've got it. Oh, yeah, cool. Great. That's a stiff penalty. For those keys and this. How much is that, anyway? So it's 750. Ooh. Yeah, and can't kill them in less than. Oh, wait. Yeah, so 900 in total. I mean, it's worth it in points terms, but we don't have the health for it now. So how does this work? The, um, they get a sword st Okay, I see. So the one I'm fighting hits me twice. That's what it is. Got it. Okay. So keys, if we want to spend a bunch of health on them, or can somehow get a lot more defense, which is going to be hard in this hold. Some more grappling hook trapdoor puzzles, oh boy. Okay, I see the format of this. Um, is there a clever way I can somehow make this multi-use? Uh, no, that doesn't get me an extra... Uh, actually... Well, okay, so I'd have to go there to do that, then come back, then come back again. I think there's a trick I can do with this. Uh, well, no, not quite like that, is it? Uh, no. Oh, yes, actually. Yeah. Cool. Great. So this is a good trade. Uh, let's just take it, right? Since health is kind of at a premium. And we did just get that free key, which we can... Yeah. Vincent descended the stairs into the cold fortress. At this point, the fact that he would be facing a veritable field of swords did not worry him. He knew, along with his peers, that the only way to handle an enemy sword was to avoid it, or withstand it. That's actually two ways, but never mind. <laughs> Vincent decided that he was committed. It wasn't just that Vincent would avoid dying. No, he would refuse to die. And he would figure out the whole matter. Alright, so this is sixth level. It was implied that this is... Was it twelve levels? Is either ten, 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 yeah, maybe ten, ten or twelve, something like that. All right, I'm inside. Looks like I've got a lot of hard work ahead of me. That's a good sign, though. I'm now inside a place people want me outside of. Is that a good sign? I don't know. All right, free stuff, simple sentry, uh, something here. It's like another. Okay, so that's an inventory space. Oh, hey, right. Ah. Uh, uh. No, I didn't fight anything with the. <laughs> Every time I do that, I'm going to wonder now. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll do my best to help you keep track. Okay. Why not step on the platform to see what it does? Uh. This one? Right, that's the warp. Oh, that's the level warp. Yep. This the other the... one must be the level warp for the next few levels. Oh, right, because there's a limit to the number of prompts, I think? Yes. Yeah. Makes sense. Brain. Uh... I don't think we want to spend, all, uh, spend keys. It's not worth it just to reduce the damage from yeah. 320 to... Makes sense. Um, if we did, the green one's slightly better because health health comes with it. 
Mm. Uh, we've got a fair bit of health now, and it's now times four. Oh yeah, cool. All right, what are you? That opens that. Okay, so either fight for 255, which isn't terrible, or pay, uh, which also isn't terrible. I'm inclined to pay. Um, yeah, me too, especially when we get some health thrown into the deal. Yeah. Uh, door walking, not a good idea here. Assuming we want to go back through here, which is likely. This feels like a time for this. Yes. I'll try to make smart decisions, but just in case I don't, we can come back to that. Oh, cool. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but that means it was a good idea to door walk. Oh, you're right. Good thing I just say it. <laughs> Perfect timing. Cool. These guys are interesting. I have to think with normal draw mechanics with them. <laughs> Evil eyes. <laughs> Those are from long ago. All right, so there's a lot of attack here. Like, a lot of attack. Yes. Uh, I guess... Uh, those will do me zero damage even when I step here because of the belt buckler. Cool. All right. Uh, so just that. Why is this a thing? other pressure plate too because that eye will step on it that opens that which seems to be only helpful sure um okay uh i don't understand the difference between these two paths other than that this one's cheaper hm. seems like a good reason for taking that one okay so you've done that which really does nothing I guess I could have disarmed before coming in here for some reason I wanted to... How, how are we doing against the security eyes? It's, yeah, 255, and that's mm. not going to get cheaper for a while. And there's more attack in that passage, so clearly that's the one we want. Yeah, same threshold I as see. Gel Baby. I see. The other, pas the other passage can be used later with the grappling hook. Oh, okay, cool. But, of course... Going through the room once means that all trapdoors will be dropped. Ooh. Okay, you might want to use the um, Greckel Gate. I see. That's what that's for. Okay, cool. Uh, uh, oh. Well, that just means it'll cost three keys rather than two if we ever want to come back for this attack gem. I feel like we might want to. Hmm. Or we could kill. Or we could kill that security eye. We could. Problem is. Uh, oh, arrow rotator. I see. Um. Okay. So. Oh, but that closes this. Huh. There must be some way to some way around that, or, or the whole choice wouldn't be the way it is. Yeah. All right, so does it make a difference? Um, would it make a difference to do the gel baby first? No, not particularly. Uh, can't really disarm once we're in here. Like, I'm imagining we could fight all of these unarmed, and um, that'd be much more expensive, of course, but it would let us not drop the trapdoors, basically. Yes. But how would that help? Um, we could make one round through here and actually get all the attack. Um, come back rearmed for the... Hmm. Hmm. Although, if, if we're going to do anything like that, we might want to um, leave it until we've got 200 attack for the gel baby. Uh, yeah. Alright, well, uh, there's a bunch of attack here. When yeah, let's, it's let's, re let's reset and leave the room until we've 
explored more so we can Oh, make wait. More. I see an inventory square here. Okay, yeah, so this is... This would seem to be for... Uh, so how much would hmm. the security ice cost while unarmed? Ooh, a lot. Gel baby, uh, even more. But plus one, plus one for faster win. Oh yeah, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah. So that could be viable at some point. Yes. Hmm. This setup looks pretty easy. The intruder is here. Okay, seal him in and move to attack. Ugh, they were responding to my commands earlier. Sorry, but the fact that I'm a smite master takes precedence. The mimics here are under my control. Well, I'll just tell command you're here then. But just between you and me, you should probably just leave now. Your current methods are setting you up for disappointment. Hmm. Hmm. Even if a thousand men were to tell me to turn back now, I wouldn't but I should remind myself that the one thing I'm looking for now is the truth. What about the pie? <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> uh. Make puzzles. Beethro seems... Uh, Beethro. Vincent seems to be taking a rather Beethro-esque path here. He's just gotten in over his head in a, in a hold and now just wants to go deeper and find the truth. I need both mimics for those. Those pressure plates look funny. I guess it's just because there's arrows on top of them. Uh, okay, so that does that. I guess I don't... Okay, unless there's something that opens those, which there's not. Okay. Uh, all right, what, so... What's the orb in the corner do? Oh, yeah. Uh, close, open, or toggle. Same thing. All right, and this closes... Oh, what? So I... Yeah, how do these open? Um, they don't? There's no... Oh, here, with those. Right, okay. So those open with that. Orb opens that. Um, this mimic has to come out somehow. I guess... Right, okay. <laughs> my mind... Since this is a puzzle like this, my mind went to normal draw mechanics, so I was not thinking about the fact that I can use a key to open that yellow door. <laughs> um... So, green key just is not something that can be ever gotten? What if we reset the room? Where did the first mimic start? So, oh, mm, that's not helpful. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking of putting the first mimic on the first pressure plate, but I can't see any way to do that without the second mimic going on his plate. Yeah. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's weird. Hmm. That green key is there for a reason. So these are toggles. Oh, wait, wait a second. Um, I'm, I'm being silly because, of course, we can step northwest and then east twice and the first mimic is uh. stuck against his obstacle while the second one moves. And then if we go up to the <laughs> obstacle, that one, yeah. There we go. That's how it works. I hate mimic <laughs> Oops. Oh. I didn't see that happen last time. Uh, okay, so I've done something wrong here. Um, maybe. What did I do? No, I want to... <laughs> yeah, mimic puzzles. They're, they sure are a thing. Uh... Um, it was because you moved east at the start, and we can't move west now, so you might have to reset again. Uh... Uh, well, mm, I'm not quite convinced, <laughs> but you may be right. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay. Now, hmm. even so... Yeah, because you have to move west to get the keys. Huh. Okay, okay, I see. So I can never, I can never move east of here. Okay.
Okay. Okay, that's doable. Cool. All right, now get you out. You go in that place. All right. And typically the door closes to stop us killing the mimics. Yeah, <laughs> that's too bad. Gel baby. Uh, tar that wants to be gel. Or wants us wants to be double stabbed. Oh, you're right. Ah, I see. That's how that works. Um, ha, the old double stabbing trick. That one's been documented at the Smite Masters Guild for ages. So I guess in order to do that, I need this. For the first blob, yes, then change the orientations for the second. Mm hmm. How, how are we doing against tar babies now? Ooh, one plus one. more. Mm hmm. That's an even trade, not too bad. Um, okay, so gel baby does not necessarily have to die for this to happen. No. Oops. Uh. Hey, hey. Uh. Oh, okay, fine. No, um. Uh. Go <laughs> east and then go northeast. Actually, yeah, I think this... That does it. Yes. There we go. Cool. Uh, mimic, though, is kind of being a problem here. Um, I guess I just can't go diagonally. Or turn my sword, which means I have to fight at least one of these. Which means if we'd had more attack, they'd be cheaper. Could you kill the mimic? <laughs> uh, maybe. 160, I'd have to bump kill him, so that's more expensive. Let's see, was there another way to... Uh, I could... Okay, here's an idea. What if I leave and... Do something different with my sword here? No. Still not quite. Uh, well, there's one more option. Uh, except not. Uh, yeah, here we go. Okay. Still, though... No way through. Okay. So I have to kill a tar baby. Or a mimic. Uh, this way I can stab the mimic, which is cheaper right now. Mm, I'm just realizing that if we'd done the first... Oh, no. No, it wouldn't have made a difference. Okay. Yeah. Kill the mimic. All right. Okay. Mimic is dead. Uh... Always feels good to do that. <laughs> uh... Whoa. Uh, okay, I'm surprised by this, but we've been going for 38 minutes. Okay. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we did a mimic puzzle. Uh, there's a bunch more of 6th level to explore. Small Vault B, Armory. Armory Access. Ooh. Storage Security. Personnel. Small Vault A was the one with the wooden sh or not the wooden shield. Was it the wooden shield? Um, the serpent skin shield. That's right. Ooh, that's important. Yes. Okay. Cool. So, good stuff to find here. Oh. Oh, right. Goblin King's Hut. All the goblin huts are in sixth level, I see. <laughs> All right, anyway. Um, enough rambling. I think this is 12. That sounds right. Cool. All right. Uh, see you guys next time for 6th level. Goodbye.